All right, it's super dark. Hopefully you can see this video kind of. We'll be able to see the sheep. We are taking the sheep in at the Owen farm. Now I got a white bucket here. Hopefully you can see it on camera. That's a bucket. And they think there's gonna be food in that. And they're gonna run. So let's go collect them. If you can't see them, you'll probably hear them. Here they come. Now we gotta open the door for them. It's getting dark, so we are saving the sheep from the coyotes. Oh crap, we dropped the bucket. Come on home, guys. They're all going, they're running. Let's hope they go the right direction. Apparently sheep are faster than me. I need to get in shape. What, you can't get in? Door's closed? Okay, guys, guys. All right, you gotta get through them, but they're gonna scatter. I'm gonna open this gate. Oh, I closed it like a dumbass. <laughs> Alright. There they go. That's where the f real food is. Sheep herding becomes easier based on the square of the amount of food in there. Except for this guy who's um, confused. Hey, I'm not food. And that, my friends, is how you herd a sheep. Go on. Come on. Good night, everyone. here even further and there's a bigger sign that I didn't see so I don't know what this all means what part is the private property or not but we'll take a look here there it is whoops yeah so much for being an anarchist Ooh, police take notice Check this out. Someone said, fuck this. Yeah, well, I agree with them there. What's really interesting is that everyone I talk to, somehow they seem to have something relevant about this. It's weird. It's almost like I'm in a game or something. What are the odds that this guy would have intense military knowledge, experience, and the kind of mindset to be able to handle this kind of stuff. I'm gonna move my stuff to downtown Portsmouth tonight. Because there's that guy I met there. He was basically living outside of Starbucks, right in the downtown Market Square. People will talk to you, you talk to them. They're so much more open than you think if you don't reach out. I think homeless is a buzzword and most people don't even realize that they might think of it as a very black and white definition. You either have a home or you don't, but um, there's really a lot of gray area, there's a lot of gradients in between, and there's a lot of different ways to live, to have housing or not. 
I have nowhere to go and nowhere I belong, supposedly. But just like anybody else, day to day, I'll be out, I'll be in town, I'll be going into businesses. They're happy to have me there. I belong there. I belong wherever I am. Count it up. All right. Uh, and one. Uh, one, two, three, four. Got my tips, got my flute, and it is 12 o'clock. Marks my last day performing in Portsmouth. Hello everybody, I'm Brian, Jack's friend, and I will marry Britney Spears if she asks me to. Really? Yeah. I don't know. Look at this money, baby. One, two, three, <laughs> four. He's counting five, his bills in front of the populace. Six, seven dollars. Jamming with Jack. All right.